President Emerson Nangagwa has been dragged to the Constitutional Court for behavior that is inconsistent with provisions of the Constitution after the appointment of ZANU-PF Politburo member Patrick Chinemsa as Air Zimbabwe director and board chairperson, while the parastatal is under judicial management. Nangagwa and his lawyer Edwin Manakai are being sued together by Tichayona Mupasiri. In his 16 December court application, Mupasiri is seeking an order to declare that Nangagwa's action constitutes conduct that is inconsistent with the Constitution. The first respondent's appointment of Chinamasa as director and chairman of Air Zimbabwe, a company whose control and management was divested from its directors and shareholders invested in an administrator appointed by the Minister of Justice pursuant to the operation of the Reconstruction of State Indebted Insolvent Act 2005 constitutes conduct that is inconsistent with the Constitution as follows, by engaging in a self-help scheme, interposing himself as a shareholder of Air Zimbabwe, the first respondent failed to fulfill his obligations in terms of S90I and S92C, by clothing himself with right to amend the Reconstruction Act that specifically vests the control and direction of the company under the administrator. Doc by knowingly and intentionally appointing Chinamasa to be a chairman of Air Zimbabwe, a juristic entity in its own right, the first respondent had no title to do and usurped the power and authority of shareholders of the company, to the extent that the then Companies Act could operate concurrently with the Reconstruction of State Indebted Insolvent Companies Act. Mupasiri said Nangagwa knowingly and intentionally offended the fundamental rights and freedoms of shareholders and creditors involved in the affairs of the company by appointing a representative of the company who was not accountable to shareholders but to him. By failing to take cognizance of the fact that the right to appoint directors falls within the scope of the exercise of fundamental rights, the first respondent's conduct was inconsistent with the duties imposed upon him by S90 leaders and S92C of the Constitution rendering his conduct unconstitutional and invalid. The draft order reads, by allowing and actively participating in the appointment of Chinamasa, whose effect was to create an absurdity of a company, having two centers of control, the first respondent acted ultra vires S6 of the Reconstruction of State Indebted Insolvent Companies Act, and in so doing failed to uphold, defend, obey and respect the Constitution as set out in S90I, and to uphold the rule of law, as per S92C of the Constitution.